In this video, we're going to take a look at what is called the Cartesian plane. You might be wondering what the word Cartesian is all about. And it actually comes from being named after a French mathematician whose name was Rene Descartes, who was actually really interested in how do we describe points. Um, and the way that he came up with this Cartesian plane was by watching flies on the roof of a tiled ceiling um, and trying to describe them. So he came up with the Cartesian plane system, which we're going to talk about more now. First off, let's start with what a plane is. And a plane is not the one that we're talking about when we see one flying in the sky or we take it to go uh, on a trip somewhere. This is when we cross a horizontal number line and a vertical number line with one another. This is what we get. We get a plane. And you've probably seen something like this before. And the Cartesian plane is exactly that. We have what's called an x-axis over here, as you can see with the blue arrow. We have what is called a y-axis, which you can see in the yellow. And you'll notice the x-axis runs from left to right, and the y-axis runs from top to bottom and back and forth. In the very middle, where they meet, we call the origin. And we'll talk a little bit more about what its coordinates are later. The Cartesian plane is also broken into four quadrants. The first quadrant we call the first quadrant, and it's located right here. The second quadrant is located over here. The third quadrant is in the bottom left. And our fourth quadrant is our last one in the bottom right. You'll notice it might seem a little counterintuitive. It doesn't go the same way as a clock, but we'll work on ways to remember this. Now, what can be really tricky for a lot of students is remembering which axis is X and which axis is Y. The way that I try to remember it is I think Y to the sky. And I know when I'm thinking Y to the sky, I'm going up and I'm going down. So I remember my Y is going up and it's going down. And then the way I remember my X, X's have two lines across each other. X's go all the way across just like this left to right that's how i try to remember you might be interested in finding your own way to remember which one is x and which one is y whatever works for you try to find a way to remember it when we're using the cartesian plane we use what are called coordinates and coordinates are used to describe where a point is located and we set them up as values in an ordered pair and they usually look like this in brackets we have an x comma a y, and an x is the x value, and the y is the y value of this coordinate, and we'll talk about what that means. Here, let's take a look at how we can find coordinates of given points on a Cartesian plane. So you'll notice I have four different points here. I have an A in yellow, B in blue, C in green, D in purple. Now, how we go about doing this is we first figure out the x value of a coordinate, and then we figure out the y value of a coordinate, and then we put those in our brackets. So let's start with A. When I'm talking about X, I'm talking about how far over from the origin is our point. And you'll notice that it is one, two, three, four points to the left. So I'm gonna put four comma. Now I have to figure out how many points up is it? One, two, three. So this point is four comma three. And I can put this nice A in front of it. Let's repeat this for B. I know I'm gonna go one over. And because I'm going to the left, I'm going to put a negative in front of it. Because just like on number lines, we're going negative here. It is a negative one. And it, we notice that it's going a positive one up. Now I've got negative one and one, which gives me point B. Let's repeat for point C. You'll notice I'm going to go one, two, three, four points to the left, which is negative. So I'm going to put negative four, comma. I'm going to go one down. And because I'm going down, that's a negative one one. So I'm going to put a C in front of that to show me that was point C's coordinates. And last but not least, let's look at point D. I notice I'm going one to the right. So that's a positive one. We don't always have to put the positives in, but we always have to put the negatives in. And now I'm going to go down one, two, three, four. So we have one comma negative Four. and don't forget to put your letter in front and that is how we go about finding the coordinates of a point on a graph now we can try to work a little bit backwards and we can try to 
plot the coordinates, which just means to put them onto the graph. So I'm going to give you a bunch of coordinates. As you can see here, I've got five for us, and we're going to actually put them right onto our Cartesian plane. So let's start with 2, 4. I'm going to call this point A. You can use any letter you want. I'm going to go with A, B, C, D, E, just to keep things simple. This 2 here is a positive 2, and that means I'm going to go 2 to the right of the origin. This positive 4 here means I'm going to go 4 up from the origin. And you'll remember the origin is right in the middle. So let's start by doing that. So I'm going to go 2 in the x direction, 1, 2. And I'm going to go 4 up in the y direction, so 1, 2, 3, 4. And this is right where my point A will go. Let's repeat this with point B. This negative 4 means I'm going to go negative 4 in the x direction, which means 4 to the left of the origin. So let's show what that looks like. 1, 2, 3, 4. And this positive 3 means I'm going to go up 3 points. 1, 2, 3. And I put my point right here, and this shows me point B. Let's take a look at point, what I'm going to call point C. We'll notice we'll go negative 1 in the x direction, so I'm going to go 1 to the left of the origin, and I'm going to go down 5 because it is a negative 5 in the y direction. So 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. You'll notice this is where my point goes. I'm going to put a C beside it, so we remember that that was point C. Let's go with point D. We'll see this 5 here means I'm going to go 5 positive in the x direction. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And this negative 2, you guessed it, means we're going down 2 in the y direction. 1, 2. All right, and last but not least, let's look at E. Now this one's interesting. You'll notice this one has 0. We're going 0 in the x direction. So instead of jumping left or right from the origin, I'm going to stay at the origin. And this 1 means I'm going to go up 1. So I'm just going to go up 1, and here's my point, because we can have points that lie on the axis. And now that we know a little bit more about the Cartesian plane, we can try to apply it to some of the problems we're going to look at this unit.